but I got no model. We're already breaking the rules, so I'm cheating a little bit. Look at this, how it sweeps up the hand all the way up to your first knuckle right there. That is really cool, less than 70 bucks. I'm keeping that on. Okay, so there is a gemstone that we don't see enough of, in my opinion, here at QVC. And I assume it's because it's hard to source, otherwise we'd see a lot of it. That gemstone is lapis. I cannot think really of any other gemstone or anything in nature that mimics the color of lapis. And boy, when we see it in this size, oh, this is talking to me. This is again from Dominique de Noir, that Parisian born, but then Mexican residing artist who crafts beautiful creations in sterling silver. And boy, is this, actually, as I'm looking at it, it also has a, a very, almost like a nod to Robert Lee Morris, very geometric, modern, asymmetry, dramatic piece, $83.94. If you're a jewelry lover, this is the time to tune in. I say this all the time, four and five in the morning, we gotta keep you awake. We're however gonna do that with beautiful pieces and great prices. Free shipping and handling too, by the way, for the first time ever. But a couple things happen at the end of the day. We lose our uh, free shipping and handling opportunity and that clearance price of $83.94 means we may not have this for very, very long. It's J284432. And it's an average size, although this being silver, you have a little bit of play and give. I don't want you to go crazy because there is a gemstone sitting there in the center. So if you're super, super small or on the larger size in your wrist, might want to go ahead and take a pass. But if you're on the cusp between small and average, average and large, you should be good to go. Okay, let's give you a measure on the gemstone in the center. And this is where I get excited. One inch from side to side. And in general, large gemstones don't necessarily excite me. Like, that's great, but you don't always need them to be big. When we talk about lapis though, for me, more is more and the bigger the better. When you've got good quality lapis and how do you know if you have good lapis? If you come in close, you'll see those little gold flecks that sparkle and shimmer within the gemstone. Poor lapis, well really poor lapis would be composite, would be compressed together. But substandard lapis wouldn't have this vibrancy in the color of the blue and it wouldn't have those flecks of gold that tells you that that really is the best of the best in the lapis that you can get. And really your eye knows right out of the gate what the best is because it has that vibrancy, that saturation, almost like you wanna crush it up and turn it into paint. It's so beautiful. And when I turn it to the side, you'll see the doming on the stone and then also the sweep and the drama of the bracelet itself. I mean, it really from, from straight on, it looks as though this wraps all the way underneath the wrist, like it's one of those nail bracelets that wraps around the wrist, but it's a cuff, so it's open there in the back. But as you can see, there's an asymmetry. It comes to a blunt end on the top and a sharp one on the other side. Little, little detail, but one that adds to the dramatic element of this bracelet and it sits very beautifully there on top of the wrist because of that oval design and then that pop of color. Hey, I really like it with the amber, by the way. Like I didn't intend that, but isn't that a cool color contrast? That beautiful royal amber is coming up a little bit later in the show, if you're interested in that. Free shipping and handling though on this cuff and a clearance price of less than $84. These are costume jewelry prices for fine artisan crafted jewelry. What a treat. J284432 for the lapis cuff. Oh, I'm digging the music, guys. All right, by the way, you're seeing Anne